Hi everyone, in today's video I have another video with this um, square sine wave inverter uh, UPS as you want to take it um, and here I have this big boy transformer it generates on how it is wired now around 500 and 580 amps at 6 volts as you can see here oh my god it's um it's a little hot but the transformer from actual uh, ups is very hot so yeah this is a problem for already i played today with this um, and the uh, actual motor from this fan located here uh, started heated up so much and I I can't use it today so here is so hot okay I have two multimeters here uh, this, to, this to measure the amps we will take from this battery oh my god it actually heats up. All right, I already tested it. That's a 9 amps battery. Nothing special. And now let me see the actual voltage for this shield is charging. Uh, actual voltage when this charging is 12.83. And if I will turn this off, I will get here. Oh my gosh. 12.75 that's bad I know uh, I also have here some sine wave uh, actually I just have one one sine wave um, pure sine wave um, UPS and uh, this UPS is charging this battery with this power as you can see and now let me measure the actual voltage from it and now I will I'm, I'm going to unplug oh my god it is drawing one amp from this sheet and firstly firstly I want to Oh, this is not a fan. This is the sign of UPS. Here is the fan. <laughs> As you can see here, it drops so much voltage. But oh my gosh, the transformer is buzzing hard. And ju this is just for this sheet sine wave. Actually, it's not sine wave, it's square wave. Okay, plugged it in. And I will do some sparks. And by the way, that's it's just the transformer from this UPS. As you probably know, there is uh, not a maximum power from uh, this transformer. I'm not getting that 500 amps. But that's the power I draw from this battery. Yeah, pr it probably is better if I will take turn off this. let it in short circuit it will actually oh oh my gosh it still takes some power from the actual battery okay I don't like this to be honest no 
um, now I want to measure the actual amps. Oh, probably it's better if I will take it on the high power one here. Um, now let me turn back on this and let me measure. Yeah, that's bad. And just for this um, is with a discharged battery, and the actual battery is heated up. But now let me show you. Uh, now this uh, EPS is plugged in, and now I'm getting the sine wave from my local. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, that that is history interesting, but that sparks actually hurt me for they are hot, <laughs> and I uh, can't really show you how this works for as you can see here um, this transformer generates too much power for this and uh, these two screws just just melt and goes like this but yeah actually i'm getting really much power from this but it's not enough to do that much things but as you can see here this is my shitty ups but when i used it i was super happy for uh, when i used it actually it's um someone don't like it and give it to me and i just use it and i was very happy for uh, I used this for my PC for in my area at uh, that time uh, the power drop was uh, something bad and was normally to random blackout and I uh, used this and I was very happy for I can I can actually turn my PC off normally without any shocks or any forced shutdowns and yeah this actually works but i don't recommend using uh, square wave go for a, a pure sine wave one i know it's uh, expensive but yeah it's more good for your electronics i hope you like this video